I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions, and this is your weekly lightning session. Pleb Wolf on Twitter would like to know, can you explain the simple pros and cons of on-chain transactions versus lightning, considering multiple factors such as transaction costs, security, privacy, etc.? Let's start with on-chain transactions. These offer the highest degree of certainty in regards to final settlement, so you can be sure that your funds have reached their destination. It also offers the ability to store funds offline in cold storage solutions like hardware wallets. Now, transaction fees can fluctuate depending on how busy and how in demand the base layer Bitcoin network is. They're also not suitable for micropayments and transactions are more traceable because everything is recorded to the public Bitcoin blockchain, which can be viewed by any third party. Lightning transactions are instant and very, very low fee, often fractions of a penny. This makes them perfect for low value and micro transactions. Now, there are trade-offs in security and certainty of settlement, though many deem these acceptable in terms of the amount of value being transacted. You are unable to store Lightning funds offline in hardware because Lightning is explicitly online only. And there are some privacy benefits to executing Lightning transactions as everything is onion routed and very difficult to trace. If you'd like to get started right away using both on-chain and lightning transactions, I recommend checking out a wallet called Moon, M-U-U-N, which I do have a full tutorial on. If you'd like to be featured in next week's lightning session, simply comment on this video with your question about hardware wallets. We'll see you guys next week.